there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be putting a pizza into my Bible as an illustration of the body of Christ. And each slice will be different. They'll each have different toppings on them, but they're all part of one pizza. So I've drawn a circle, and whatever circle you draw, find the middle of it, wherever that middle kind of would be. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then make all of the pizza slices point toward that center section. If you want to have a lot of pizza slices, then draw them thin. And if you want big fat pizza slices, you can draw them uh, thicker than that if you wish. I'm going to be using watercolor pencils on this because it gives me lots of control for small areas. If I'm going to be putting in lots of tiny pizza toppings, I thought that might be helpful. But I'm working on a page that is already, like the other side of it, is already full of color. So as I was starting on this and putting my cheese in on my, my cheese slice, I am a plain cheese pizza eater, sometimes pepperoni, but I am totally fine with just plain cheese pizza. And I decided to start out on that one, then add a little bit of color for each of the other pieces of pizza to have some cheese on it. But I decided that I also wanted to make this a two page spread, even though the journaling on the left is not connected in a specific way to the pizza slice on the right hand side. So I am going to do a background that's going to connect them. But I'm using a baby wipe to push the color around. You can see the slice where I put more of the pencil is a brighter yellow. But the others, I'm just tapping the color around just to make it mush together a little bit. I'm going to be adding all of the toppings on top of it. And then using some yellows and oranges and reds in the background so I can try to make this match the page on the left. That page, of course, was done in watercolor. So it's got some interesting textures and things to it that I, I, could, I could try to fuss and make these work with the pencils. But I didn't really want to stress out that much because it's summertime. Let's not stress in summertime. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe to move the color and move it loosely so I get some kind of texture and blending of some colors, but not trying to mimic the texture that I got using the baby wipe with watercolors. But they're very similar in terms of the mediums, so it kind of worked any <clears throat> anyway, excuse me. Once I was finished with that, I let it dry and then ironed it so it would be nice and flat for all the drawing parts, and I started by drawing in the pizza toppings with a watercolor pencil, but realized maybe on this particular one, I don't usually do this, I should put the pen lines in first because there's going to be a lot of teeny tiny areas of drawing different toppings. And so I grabbed my pen, it's just a micron pen, and started drawing in the outlines of the pizza, a little kind of sketchy line for the crust, another for the plate that's going to go behind the whole pizza the pizza tray or whatever it is, baking sheet, and then started working on the toppings. Now, one of the things I was thinking about this, and maybe this will turn into a full painting because I, I don't know if I could fit it in my Bible anyway, would be to make a pizza, but instead of doing pizza toppings to illustrate this, it might be interesting to put things on each slice of pizza that signify the different kinds of spiritual gifts that different people are given. So something for preaching, something for teaching, something for serving, and that sort of thing. So that could be another way to approach something like this. Or you could take any kind of an image that you could break up into sections and you know, decorate each section a different way. You could color this pizza in rainbow colors instead of coloring it in pizza colors. I was trying to color it in natural colors because I was hungry while I was working on it. That is a common theme in my art, food. So used a little bit of the baby wipe to move some color around, went back in with the pen to add in tiny more details, just adding in a little bit of extra vegetables and that sort of thing. I did do a nice dark line for the pizza tray, the baking tray, and then used the pen to also add some marks to it so it would darken it even further. And then adjusted some of the lines, adding in little areas that needed to have a little bump up in the contrast. So 
The gifts are different, but the same spirit distributes them. I thought it would be a really nice page for my Bible. And so there it is. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I will see you again soon with another Bible journaling video. God bless you. Bye-bye.